Hi guys, this short video will just show you how you uh, fill out the bank account spreadsheet for your clients just for the your spending coach um, setup. So as you can see from here, um, this spreadsheet is where you put all your clients bank account details. The big thing to remember that every bank account, loan, car loan, credit cards, everything needs to be added to this spreadsheet. So pretty much if there's an account number and BSB, then add it to the spreadsheet. Um, so you always start, when will the client start the tracking through zero? So if, for example, it's 1st of August, you just enter that in. So that's really important that you fill that in so we know when the client's going to start. Um, for all bank accounts, we need the closing balance as at the day before. So obviously, if it's the 1st of August that they're going to start, you won't know the closing balances as at the 31st of July just yet. But if you were starting, say for example, for the 1st of July, then you'll need to get the closing balances as at the 30th of June for all bank accounts, credit cards, loans, and pretty much any bank account the client has. So that's really important. Then just down here, you start to fill out. So for the account type, you put in if it's a credit card, savings, loan, store card, etc. So let's just say it's gonna be a transaction account. Put the bank account, which is really important because then that flows through into zero. So put the bank accounts and purpose of this example, we've just put NAB down and then, but it could be CBA. And then you put the account nickname, which they see in their online banking. So for this, it might be Sam's spending account. Then you put the full BSB in, the full account number, which is really important. And then, as I said, the closing balance as at the um, day before you want to start. Um, then you'd go through and do it again for every single bank account. The big one also is for credit cards. We don't need the full account number. You just need the last four digits and that's obviously for privacy reasons. So you just get the last four digits there and obviously that closing balance would usually have a negative amount. Um, you do this for all their transactions, pretty much any bank account. And then you also don't forget to put in the loans because that's obviously very important. In the loans, again, you just put the full BSB the full account number, and then you put in the balance of the loan as at the closing um, balance when the client wants to start. And then in the comments section, this is where you just put any comments that you might think is relevant. So for this one, for the home loan, you can put in that it's a principal and interest arrangement, and for the investment loan, it's interest only. For say, for example, the offset account, you might put in here, all income, directed here. Again, it's just little comments that might make life a little bit easier and helps explain the purpose of each account. Um, this will then show the total of the client's accounts balances. And then from there, you would send this to your spending coach and then we can set up into zero based on the bank account details. And that's why it's really important that everything is on here and everything is accurate because from here, this is what we actually physically put into zero. So it is important. Like always, if you've got any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call in the office and we're more than happy to help or you can send an email to your spending coach and again, we'll um, get back to you about your query. I'm looking forward to speaking to you guys soon. Thank you.